Yeah. All right, Corey. All right, we'll get started with Terry Davis. Hey, Jaron, uh, you, you look great out there tonight, man. I know it normally takes a few games to get back into basketball shape. How close do you think you are back to who you are? Uh, yeah, I still have my um, minute caps. So, you know, it's it's going game by, game by game, and I'll progressively get back to full form when I'm playing like 28, 30 minutes a game. Um, but for now, I feel pretty good out there. You know, there's times probably at the end of stretches where, you know, you're a little tired just if, if there hasn't been a timeout or if we're going pretty fast, but I'm feeling pretty good. Evan Barnes. <clears throat> Jaron, um, you, you closed out the first half and the second half. At this point, when you were, as you mentioned, and you're getting your win back, but did you just feel comfortable closing those, closing those halves out and kind of finding that rhythm again, just, you know, being able to finish out? For sure. I mean, uh, the plan was to make sure when I'm out there, I feel comfortable. Um, and I wasn't going to even go out there if I didn't think I was going to feel comfortable. So, you know, everything is going, going like I thought, going according to plan. And you're definitely going to feel a little bit because, you know, it's been a while since I played, but I feel really good. Joe Mullinax. Congratulations, Jaron, on a great performance, obviously two games back and and you're looking like you don't have too much rust. John Morant certainly didn't have rust tonight either. Both of you played extremely well. You guys feed off each other. That much is clear. What's it like when both of you are, are kind of feeling it the way that you were tonight, extremely efficient offensive performances? You know, Grizzlies fans are excited about the future watching you two play. How does it feel when you two are, are thriving at the same level like you were tonight? For sure, man. That's twin, man. He um... – he can do so many things with the ball. He's always finding us, and you see how he is in transition. He's electrifying, always getting to the basket. Uh, it really doesn't take much for us. We don't have the time. We're not even really talking out there at this at this point. It's just glances. We know what he, you know what each other do. We know what each other mean all the time. Um, we're really on the same page, and we've worked at it. I mean, it's it we worked at being on the same page like that. So, you know, all our teammates have have made that easy for us. They're always you know doing what they do, and. I'm just glad we got this win, man. I'm, I'm happy about that. Last question. We'll go to Sean Coleman. Jaron, great effort from you tonight and your first two games back. Um, you know, seeing X out there playing so well, starting y'all got some minutes together, just the on-court chemistry between y'all. How do you feel about that two games in? I know there's a lot more to come, but just those first initial games, how are you feeling playing with him and see him playing so well in an expanded role? X been, X been playing so well. He's been playing so well all year. You see his, the progression in his game. Um, you know, he's been holding it down, especially in the last, like, probably 10, 15 games. He's really putting it together. So I've been so happy, so happy for him. Uh, when JB comes back, we'll probably have a lot more minutes together. And, yeah, I'm just excited going forward. We get to play at the next level. So, you know, dream, dream come true. Thanks, Jared. So.